Robert Sala insisted that there has been no distraction caused by Hassan Reddick, who formally requested a trade from the Jets on Monday, uh, just months after the Jets acquired him via trade from the Eagles. Uh, but there is still a question lingering over this team, and it is when will Reddick report if the Jets uh, are true to their word and that they will not trade him to another team. Uh, when it comes to a player wanting a new contract, everything centers around leverage. Right now, the Jets have it. They insist that they are confident in their current defensive line. They like Will McDonald and Michael Clemens rotating one defensive end. Jermaine Johnson made a Pro Bowl last year. Uh, Javon Kenlaw, Solomon Thomas, Quinn and Williams, the All-Pro, are on the middle. They believe they can win with that group. To them, Reddick would make them better, but he is a luxury, not a necessity. Reddick doesn't gain leverage in this negotiation until that flips. And the only time that that is going to flip is if come the opener in San Francisco, the Jets can't sniff Brock Purdy. Then Reddick can go to Joe Douglas. He can go to Woody Johnson. He can go to Robert Sala and say, you guys need me, so pay me. Until then, though, it's a waiting game. And the Jets seem fully confident, aware, and okay with waiting until Reddick shows up. Until he does, as these days go by, these preseason games pile up, they're going to continue to find him and hope that eventually he comes through. Aaron Rodgers, who spoke to the media on well, as well on Tuesday, said that he plans on reaching out to Reddick uh, to try to entice him to show back up to what he believes is going to be a special special jet season.